When searching an antibody sequence with three fragments, input your query sequences in a single search using the FASTA format. The full sequence, followed by each of the complementarity determining regions, or CDRs. Copy and paste these sequences in the IP search box. Be sure to click the Protein Sequences tab. The GenePass search strategy is selected to ensure individual CDRs don't get broken into pieces. The parameter Limit Subject Length From is changed to 5 in order to catch more CDR fragment results. The maximum number of results is changed from 500 to 100,000 in order to expand results. Now hit Search. Once the search is completed, click on the IP report. A Venn diagram of your queries with hits to patents can be viewed. Each circle represents an individual CDR. The clickable numbers are the number of patents your queries hit, individually or combined. This feature does not filter away any results. Now let's go to the results page. An important operation is to limit the number of records being examined using the filter widget. Each line allows you to specify conditions that must evaluate to either true or false for every record in the database. When working with multiple conditions, you must specify how you want to join the conditions together using logical AND, logical OR, or something more complex. For example, unfiltered, there are 1,500 results. Now let's set one filter to legal status, that way we only get documents that have been granted by corresponding authorities. Let's set a second condition to query percent identity, giving us documents that are greater than or equal to 90% for a high identity yield. Let's join the conditions using logical AND. The number of results drops from 1,500 to 311, making a significant difference in the amount of results that you have to manually sift through. To further organize your results, try the grouping option. Note that the grouping criteria respect any filter criteria set. No results are eliminated, only categorized. When we group by patent family, a clear list should be compiled of which sequences fall under which patent families. Here we can see the specific patent families and the CDRs that fall under them. Using the filter and grouping widgets to suit your needs will save an incredible amount of time and resources. Try them today.